Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Lisa. For today's video, I wanted to try out the new ColourPop foundation. So it's called the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. And um, I just made an order on ColourPop of a few goodies, including this new foundation. So I wanted to try it out with you guys and tell you my opinion on it. I wanted to do um, a full face of as much of ColourPop items products that I have. So the rest, I'm just gonna use well, whatever I have, of course. So yeah, let's get started. So first, before starting, I wanted to read you guys a little bit about this foundation. So it's the Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. It's I'm reading from the website, the ColourPop website. So it says that it's the skin perfecting medium buildable coverage foundation which creates a healthy skin like finish. So get coverage and hydration with the same good for you high ingredients like hyaluronic acid for your healthiest looking skin ever. And it says that it is a natural finish and then um, it has hyaluronic acid which is well known to attract a thousand times its weight in water. And then it says it has coconut water known to support hydration and skin softness. Okay, so, so to try out this foundation, I did buy the Hydrating Hyaluronic Primer, which is like a peach tone. It says that, um, the website says that it's best to use that Hydrating Primer with the foundation. And um, I also bought the concealer because I never bought it, I don't have it. So this one is also hyaluronic, it's creamy concealer, and I got it in the shade medium 90W. So I did get it one shade lighter because I do like my, my under eyes to be brighter. And what else did I get? I got their Falsies Fox Lashes in the shade Chica. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a natural um, glam look, if you're gonna call it something. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's kind of like long, they are long, so I just wanted to try it out. It caught my attention and I'm going to be also using their Going Coconuts palette, which I love this palette. It's perfect for those neutral tones. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with this primer. Let's see. Okay. It smells like fresh, it has like a, a soft scent and it's kind of, um, like I said, it's like a peach tone. I don't know if the camera captures it, but let's try this. Mm, it does feel really, really refreshing on my skin. It kind of dries fast. Okay, I hope it doesn't cause me any allergies <laughs> because um, my skin is like really, really sensitive lately, so yeah. So what else? Let's start. Okay, let's give this a minute and then start with the foundation right away. Because the eyes I'm gonna do at last, I believe. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get just do a couple pumps in my arm, my hand. Okay. It doesn't have any scent, so this is the shade. I hope it's gonna work with me. Okay, it does feel a little bit watery, you know, kind of a very watery. So, let's see if it matches. It feels really, really light. Oh wow, I think it's like my perfect shade. Okay, so I have to go in with more coverage. You know, they say it's a medium to build a little coverage. But I think it's like a light coverage. So let's just go in with more product. Okay, I think this is perfect to wear in the no makeup makeup days. So like if you don't want that much coverage, this is perfect for you. Because, you know, it's not covering like my blemishes, just leaving it there, so. I do like a foundation that's more coverage. I could cover everything, but 
kind of like how they say that it feels like your skin but better yeah that's what it feels like so it does kind of like evens out your skin tone it is and it was perfectly my shade as you can see but it is lightweight it doesn't feel heavy on the skin like it does feel nice on the skin like it's not gonna you're you're not gonna use like a lot of product it's very watery and i like it i like it for like i mentioned those no makeup makeup days yeah i really like this it kind of reminds me like a bb cream type so yeah i'm not gonna put more product i'm gonna leave it like this and let's start with the concealer but i think it, you know it matched me perfectly yeah so let's start with the concealer Okay, it looks really nice. I really like it. It's like a, I would say it's like a light to medium coverage. It's not, I don't believe it's like a medium coverage. I don't know. Hmm. But I do like that um, my skin feels like really like glowy. It's, um, I know it's a natural finish, so it looks really, really nice. Like your skin feels healthy. You know what I mean? And really feel like fresh. So, and I like the concealer and I guess it, it worked perfectly like that for you. I know I was supposed to buy the, the setting spray, but I was not able to get it. So hopefully in another occasion, I could try it out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face so that I can come back and try the Going Coconuts palette. I'm back now let's get started on the eyes so I'm going to use the going coconuts palette okay so I'm just gonna do like a natural look so I'm going to take this shade right here for all over the, the lid this is actually one of my favorites that Colourpop has done now for the crease I'm going to get colada Now for the outer corner, I'm going to get this one right here, Nutty. Okay. Now for all over the lid, I'm going to go with this shade right here, Coco Crush. Whoa. Okay, I didn't remember the shape of these is pigmented. Oh wow. This is pigmented. Wow. I kind of went everywhere, guys. Yeah, the same thing on the other eye. Actually, I'm gonna get shredded right here and then put it on my lower lash I mean on my sorry my brow bone <laughs> I had like fallout everywhere with this um shade I'm going to go again with the darker shade just to mark more me my outer cor corner because the coco crush kind of went all over my lid so i'm gonna go with the nutty i wanted a more natural look but i want a little bit glam
What do you guys think? Now, I am going to be using the ColourPop gel liquid liner for the wing in the shade Grande. Now for the inner corner, why are you saying that? Okay, sorry. For the the waterline, I'm going to use their cream gel liner in the shade Mr. Bing, which is all brown. Just put a little mascara so I could put on the lashes. Okay. Before I do that, I put on the lashes. I'm going to put on my my lippy from ColourPop. It's um, called Just Tint. Smells so good. It actually smells like peaches or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to really quick put on the lashes and I'll be back and tell you guys my opinion. Okay guys, so I am back with the lashes. So, um, I love these lashes. They look amazing, amazing. And perfect to like go out and like kind of like a soft natural look. And it goes well with my eye look and everything put together looks nice. I like it. Um, my final thought of the foundation I really like it. I think this is a foundation that you could actually use on an everyday basis. It's not going to cover most of your blemishes, but it looks so natural and perfect. It's like I've been saying, and I'm sure a million other YouTubers are saying, it's like your skin, but better. Like it looks perfect. Like it just looks like it's just my skin. I don't have like nothing on it looks really really well as you can see it looks very um shiny and um vivid and healthy like my skin looks really really healthy if you can notice and um i think it goes really well with the primer it it just goes perfectly like this is like the perfect trio so the concealer i really love it it covers and brightens my under eyes and um, it looks really, really healthy. And it felt like all these three products feel super, super nice and refreshed on my skin. I just, I just love it. I think I'm going to be using this and buying more real soon once it finishes, of course. And I'm going to continue using it for, you know, on an everyday basis. And um, I'm probably going to use it throughout the day and let you guys know how the foundation wear and the concealer in the comments on the description below sorry but overall i think it was a nice look um i really like it uh, i i don't know but <laughs> ColourPop is one of my favorite brands so and they come up with the nicest product and it is very affordable so i think it's amazing so yes yes i i recommend this so yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys bought this this foundation what did you think about it if um you're gonna buy it after my review let me know and i am very happy to do this video for you let me know what other type of videos you want me to do or what other products i'm actually waiting for more products um of other brands to try out and i'll give a review for you guys and yeah that's it this is the final look let me know what you guys think about it and i'll see you guys on my next video bye hey guys it's me again real quick i just wanted to give you guys an update on my foundation i've been having it for the past i believe five or six hours and um i even had to work out and everything else so you see me in a change of clothes 
I had to work out and um, I had to leave my, my foundation on to see and all my makeup to see how it was gonna do and um, it did pretty good as you can see I'm still like covered pretty good and um, nothing has changed it looks like um, I just put on the makeup so I like that um, like I, I told you guys it's a light to medium coverage but I think it, it went well and I really really like it I'm gonna continue using it and yes I love it so let me know what you guys um, think in the comment below and if you have this foundation how did you do if you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye